What's going on everybody? I've just had a customer come in saying that they can't get the scope to zero. So I get this question all the time. I think I've knocked it. I can't do it myself, X, Y, and Z. So I've popped it on the range with the customer present and the scope is completely out of elevation and that is as high as we can get it. Now, if you're suffering from this problem, there's a few things that you need to do to make sure that it's the scope and not the rifle. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the sound moderator off, give it another go and see if that changes anything. If it does, fantastic. If it doesn't, I'll show you all how to create more elevation. Now, the reason I've taken the sound moderator off to see if it makes a difference is quite simply that if somebody's knocked the gun, dropped the gun and it's hit the end, often the silencer can bend and what will happen there is your pellets will clip the silencer, sound moderator, as the pellet comes out. So this is my first port of call to try. Now, that's different if you're getting a consistent group, but you've got no elevation left because that would, that would um, sort of suggest that the pellets are going in exactly the same place, but they're not clipping. Normally, if you have a silencer that's clipping, sound moderator that's clipping, you tend to get variation. So they wouldn't always be going all the way down to the right, all the way up to the left. Consistently, you'd normally probably have a few in the same spot and then one pinging out uh, here and there. So I'm just gonna try this now and we'll see whether it's made any difference. I can confirm that has made a huge, huge difference. I'm actually hitting the follower at the top of the target. So in this instance, it's the silencer. So we're gonna move that down. Sorry, I'm saying silencer, sound moderator, be correct with you all. Yeah, definitely, definitely the sound mod that is the problem. So as you can see, it was the sound moderator that was at fault because without it, I've managed to get a zero. Um, now, had I taken a closer look at this beforehand, uh, things may have become a bit more apparent as I can see the customer or somebody must have had the same idea as me because this has had a drill bit through it. And that's the reason that it's inaccurate because it, it looks like they've hit baffles on the way down. So that is why this particular rifle was inaccurate. And I'm gonna to have to go and inform the customer that they need a new sound mod. Now, I'm going to show you how to create more elevation anyway, because some of you may be experiencing this problem and it's consistent even without the sound moderator on. So if you're concerned and you can't go high enough and you can't go low enough, don't worry, because I'm gonna show you exactly what you can do at home with just a pair of scissors and an old Coke can. Um, so this is a bit of a hack and I'm gonna show you how to do that now. Okay, so that's one rifle sorted out. Now, this customer brought me this rifle in last week and it had a couple of zeroing problems similar. So what I've done with this particular model, I won't bore you to tears, but um, these naturally have a issue with accuracy with this shroud. So I cut this shroud and fit the silencer directly to the barrel. I say I did, the gunsmith did it. Now, it's still not quite where it should be. So I've managed to get it zeroed in. However, we're completely out of upward elevation. So I put it zeroed at 10 meters and it is zeroed. However, there's no more play to go further up. So I'm gonna show you how we're about to create more elevation. And the first job is to take that scope off. Right, now the dog stopped barking for a few moments, I'm gonna get into how we create more elevation. So this is not firing high enough. I mean, it is at 10 meters, but it's gonna run into problems if we go any further out. So what we need to do is we need to 
tell the scope without using the adjustments on the scope that we need more elevation. And the, reason, the way we, that we do this is we need to shim the back mount and force the front of the scope down. Now, what you're gonna be thinking is, no, Luke, you're not right because you need to come up. Well, what a scope does is it flips an image similar to our eyes. And basically think of everything in reverse. So if we need to come up, we need to force the front of the scope down. If you need to come down, you need to force the front of the scope up. And you'll be thinking also that how can you possibly create so much more elevation in such a short space? Well, with optics, a tiny, tiny bit is a massive amount at a greater distance. So what you need to do is you either need to grab an old Coke can, it doesn't have to be Coke, uh, it could be Sprite, maybe Fanta, um, or a bottle, basically something with a curve like your scope mount. And what you're gonna do is, you're gonna cut, cut this up, possibly more majestically than me, cut it round, It really doesn't matter whether it's can or bottle. In fact, I'm going to use this bit. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut out a section roughly the same width as the mount. Once you've done that, just check inside the bottom of the mounts there, because often there's a piece of felt and you can take that piece of felt out to create more of a shim one side or the other. So you could take it out of the front and pop it in the back, or you could take it out of the back and pop it in the front, depending on if you're trying to go higher or if you're trying to go lower. Now, obviously we're trying to go higher. So what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna trim this first piece of plastic down and see how that sits. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. And then what you're going to do is you're going to cut another few sections out and you want to taper them. So each, each piece from here on in needs to be smaller than the last. So let me see if I can demonstrate this. So here's the first piece. Here's the second. And that is obviously smaller as in we're going to be tapering the way we go. Now I'm going to do one more as I don't think this is going to need more than that. In fact it probably needs, doesn't need this much at all. One shim in this would probably have done because it was already in the centre and we don't need to go too overboard. So what we're going to do, I've actually cut that one thinner so I'm going to put that one in between those two. If I haven't dropped it, which I have, there we go. So you'll end up with something looks like that, roughly. You know, it doesn't have to be exact. Pop that in, and this is the tricky bit where they start trying to ping out at you. That one needs to go like that, and that needs to go like that. There we go, that was a good example. So don't worry about it. This is actually be better being flatter. In fact, I'm going to do that. So we're going to lift this up. That'll be easier. Work smarter, not harder. So we're going to pop those in the bottom there, like so. Now we're going to put the scope back on, like so. Sit that in. And now we're gonna tighten it up. So in theory now, when I fire this into the center, which is where it was zeroed and we couldn't go any higher, I should now fire and it be above that by a fair considerable margin. So let's see if this has worked as it should have done.
Now, as you can see, just from that first shot, we are super high from where we were. So this is where we were zero before, and there's no elevation left. Now we put those shins in at the back to force the front down. Remember, it works backwards. We're all the way up here. So now we'll be able to come down and zero in and have plenty of play. And there we have it, another job well done. So as you can see, I've come down and we've put a few into the middle there. So that's what we wanted to achieve. We weren't wanting pellet on pellet or anything like that. We just wanted to achieve that zero. So if you come across this problem, job one, take your sound moderator off, check if it's still not right, you may very well need to shim your mount. I hope this video has been informative for you and hopefully if you've clicked on it, it's helped you out of a situation. If it has, please hit like, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. It does help me an awful lot. Also, if you've got any questions, no matter how trivial you might think they are, please drop me a comment and I'll try and do a video on those questions. It doesn't matter what it is, and I'm sure there's other people that might be embarrassed to ask the question because they think that it should be known. Well, I can assure you that won't be the case. So ask me the question and I will do my very best to answer that for you. It doesn't matter if it's about scopes, if it's about sound moderators, if it's about bipods, if it's about pellets, pellet weight, what the differences of ammunition are and why you would use one over the other. Just ask me the question and I will give you a completely unbiased answer. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you all again soon.